sneeze. I'm gonna sneeze. Do it. It's not coming out. Do it! Again. Look into the light. Well, that's gonna keep me from sneezing. Oh, I thought, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I think it's supposed to. Oh, you know what I'm thinking? If you gotta throw up, you look in the toilet bowl. Mina, what the heck? What? I, I'm just telling- it's like you look at something and something is gonna come out of your body. <laughs> what? Burgers! Hello and arrives and welcome back to Let's Play Ace Attorney Investigations 2. My name's Skinny Manny. And I'm drinking water. My name's Pharaoh, by the way. <laughs> oh god, in last episode... Um... Ooh, um, hmm. I hit puberty there. <laughs> uh, last episode we, uh... Aye, aye! Uh, oh! <laughs> God. The purest monster puberty, good lord. <laughs> you don't know my life. You know what happened when I was like 12, 13. <laughs> oh, was it then? I don't know. Why, is that late or something? I thought it was normal. No, I didn't hit puberty until I was 21. Oh, damn. You still look like anyway. you're 18. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> Shut up. That's a good thing! Is it though? Yeah? I mean, the way I look at it, sure. Anyway, last episode, <laughs> um... <laughs> it's better than saying people thinking you're 35 like some chick at Walgreens did. You alright, Mina? You okay? That, it, that brought up an old wound? It kind of bothered me, honestly. I'm like, woman, I do not look like I'm 35! <laughs> Okay, I'm, I'm good. You're, you're, I'm good. Okay? Yeah, I'm good, Danny. Let's go. Let's go ahead. Uh, okay. All right. Um. Anyway, we uh, we we were able to use Little Thief to kind of go between the setup and the show. Um. So we're uh, let's see. So I guess we were just examining, examining the uh, ah, the, the stage and stuff. Um, so let's see, let's go to the organizer. We got an update on the rope and what it did. What? Oh my gosh, this is uh, so interesting. Okay, so we already examined Napoleon and stuff. We examined the stage. I remember, we, we can go back and forth between how it was during the show and how it was, was it during or, af or before or after the show? I think it was after. It's like during the show and after. So uh, right now we are during the show. Right. Wait, can we talk to Ray? Or is he at? I'm curious. Oh. Mm. Let's see. A great this secret weapon. <laughs> I see. But isn't this bad? Using a thief's tool to aid in the investigation? Uh, don't make such a scary face. It's all right. Uncle Ray's lips are sealed. It's for the truth, right? The evidence may very well already have been destroyed. In order to recreate the crime scene, we need her help. Why so serious? At times like this, a simple smile will suffice. Yes, thank you very much. Oh, Lord Edrith. Um, so we... Let's see... Oh, yeah, we have logic. I think we need to put logic together. <laughs> oh, yes! Logic is something that we have. <laughs> oh god. Uh, uh, so we had SD the Elephant, Star of the Show, along with Regent the Tiger and Simon. Missing Apples, Strength to be Pulled, and the Weight. So I'm guessing we can... Uh, we could put those together. The 33 pounds and the Strength to be Pulled. Uh, sure. I think. I'm trying it out. Did it. Huh? Isn't this strange? What's wrong, pal? Uh, yeah. Oh, haven't you noticed it? <laughs> haven't you noticed, Detective? What's strange about the weight is... It's the num... It's... It's the number, right? The, uh, not the number. Well, it should be the weight itself. Um, Because it's, what, 33 pounds? Right, I think it's the weight. Yeah, because that's there's no way it's 33 pounds. It's not heavy enough. In order to pull up Mr. Key's body weight, 
I you're right, sir. But where did the rest of the weights disappear to? Looks like it's time to use my seven seven secret weapons, sir. Hmm. If necessary, I'll let the detective know. Uh. You want to check the lodging again, though? See what else we got. Yeah. A sticky elephant, not heavy enough, missing apples. The apples are where her feed, or like what she liked. So I guess she ate them. We can connect that. And give that, give them one a shot. Uh, ah! <laughs> the apples in the crate were probably eaten by a steep. But it's strange. I remember leaving the crate out of reach from a steep's nose. Are you certain? Yes. The crate was still full of apples on the night before the show. Then the cart was moved to where her nose could reach it. With that many apples, it could not have been moved by the wind. Most likely, the crate was moved by a person. Okay. Yeah, it's like, okay. Prior to the show, the cart's position was already changed and the apples were all eaten. This appears to be the correct information. Please update the simulation parame par parameters, okay? Parameters. Parameters. <laughs> Okay. I think you did the same thing too. I think I did, but it's like it's okay. You know, like, I'm the last person to talk about pronunciation of any damn word. But you know, I'm glad to help if I can. Oh my god! All right, I'll use the new info to recreate the scene. Beep boop boop. Using the info we got from Regina, I'll recreate the scene with the cart in its actual place. What? Recreation complete. I okay, so do we examine the card again? Maybe. I swear the animation when she's changing things makes it look like ripped directly from Mega Man Battle Network. Oh. oh. Wait a minute. Capcom. Damn it, they reused her sprites. I have a favorite. <laughs> I have a pretty damn good reason that they reused her Battle Network sprites. Not again. I mean, if they got it. I mean, yeah, but once about a talking digital pet robot virus busting thing it's it's a it's a pretty funny well not funny let's continue please <laughs> i'm just gonna keep rambling yeah i was like okay right. are you finished yeah i'm good yeah okay all right he's tired y'all uh and i'm getting i know i'm awake now <laughs> wait no she's what don't tell people i just woke up 40 minutes ago i didn't say that Whoops. i just said you're tired <laughs> You just gave yourself away. Oh well. No wonder I thought it smelled like animals. It contained the elephant's food. So this was filled with Estique's apples. That's right. On the day before the show, it was full of apples. And in the morning, they were all gone. Oh, did you think of something? You could say that. You could say that. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Not heavy enough. Oh, wait a minute. No. I don't know if the apples would. I don't know. What if. Can we use missile again? How so? Oh, I clicked him. Oh, and you were doing whimpering. Okay. Oh, you thought it was a game? Kinda. Acting! Acting! <laughs> You're a good. Never mind. Excuse me. Nothing. Hmm. As you can see, he's totally scared, sir. Yeah, so are you. I <laughs> kind of really. <laughs> I wanted him to track a scent, but it looks like that won't be possible. <laughs> this is baby, baby, Bizzle. Okay. Um. So. The apples went missing. I don't think that Estique ate them all, because, I mean, that would probably... She'd probably have a tummy ache. Um... Is it weird? I, well, I kind of want to connect, uh... The not heavy enough in the crate of apples. Um... I don't think that's going to do anything, though. I just... I'm bleeding on my face. Uh, why? Ow. I don't know. I was scratching my face and all of a sudden. Oh. Ow. 
Um, well, if we, want, if, we, if we want to use anything, have we talked to Gumshoe yet? Oh, that's right, I forgot. We got, that's how we get seven wonders. Get it. Mm. Mr. Edgeworth, you got that look on your face like you want to use my secret weapon, sir. Hmm. This wasn't in the mood, but I got my fishing rod ready to go. Or would you rather, would you prefer the metal detector? I've never seen a detective's eye sparkle like that. If need be, I'll let you know. For now, just stand by. Wait, so, Kimmy. Wait, what the hell? Yeah, why do we get the metal detector as why logic? Did... Yeah. Um, so do we gotta do metal detector and not heavy enough? So we could find more weights? Um. I don't know if I... they're metal. May or not. Maybe. Yeah, we'll give it a shot. No, not the creative apples, okay. <laughs> uh, Detective Gumshoe, it's time for your secret walk. Yes, sir! I was hoping for the metal detector. Uh, oh, oh, I don't give any chances to use this one. Oh. Well, Watch when I'm using the last case. <laughs> That's how you save the day! Da -da -da. Before we begin the search, let me go over how to use a metal detector, sir. Oh, you get to use it? I guess so. This metal detector. Yes. This metal detector uses sound. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> uh, and this meter. Whoa. To let you know how close you are to a metal object. When you get closer to the metal object, the metal detector will have a bigger reaction, like this. When you get the biggest reaction. Can you imagine if, that, if that's the noise it made when we found something using a metal detector? <laughs> that would be the most annoying, oh. the annoying contraption ever. It gave me an order to examine the spot, sir. Now, let's see what we've got. It's just a metal fence. <laughs> that's basically how you search for metal objects. Just give me the instructions on where, to want, where you want to search, sir. So oh! we can officially say you play as Gumshoe in Ace Attorney game. Oh, so happy right now. Like, that makes me so happy. <laughs> Gummy. Oh, you finally get your, your five minutes of fame. You better be in the new Ace Attorney whenever they decide to announce it. Oh my god, I hope, I, oh, I hope so, please. Just hope he uh, doesn't okay. die in it either. I swear to god, if he does, I'll be so pissed. I'm like, I'm done with the game. No, no, you won't. Oh, God. Basketball. Uh, I'm just walking. Yeah, there's one spot that kind of looks suspicious to me. I don't know if you've seen it yet. The pond? Yeah. Yep. Salmon. Yeah! There's a reaction here too, sir. Let's check it out. Huh? Huh? I found these in a clumps of grass here, sir. These are the weights used for that hoisting device. Were these intentionally hidden? There's four of them in all, sir. That many weights would be enough to lift Simon. So the other weights that were used in the device were hidden. Why were they hidden over here, though? That that oh. oh. <laughs> I thought the I thought the investigation end was gonna pop no, up. No, but you 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 know it's okay. It's it's fine. See, see, I'm really earning my keep today, aren't I, sir? Uh. Hey! <laughs> ah, the alligator! That scared me, pal. Huh? Oh, what's the matter, detective? It looks like the metal detector is reacting to this alligator. Really? Why? Are you sure it still isn't just reacting to the weights? It's a different reaction, sir. It's definitely coming from the alligator. Uh... It's gone. 
<laughs> okay. Okay. Looks like it's scared of us. Mm, I don't think so, Kay. Huh? If anything, I think Ellie looks a little under the weather. Um, I suppose that was. Uh, you could do. You could be Edgar with that. Okay. Ellie. I suppose that what that was what what Warden Roland called it. She didn't eat any of the food that the warden gave her yesterday. I think she might have eaten something bad. So I guess the metal detector could be reacting to whatever the alligator ate. Oh, maybe she ate one of those weights. I doubt that even an alligator could ingest a 33 pound weight. But what could the metal detector be reacting to then? <gasps> the murder weapon. <gasps> And regardless, why were the why were these weights hidden? Hmm. Maybe we should take another look at this device on the well. Okay, I'd like to recreate the after the show scene again. All right, leave it to me. Boop 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 boop. Blah. Mega Man. Son of. Okay, will you, for the love of God, <laughs> turn off your pet navy? <laughs> Sorry, that's Mega Man lingo. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta re-examine this. This is closed. Okay. I won't rest if I expect every new to see. Yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> okay, uh, so do we gotta look at the... Oh, crap! No, don't use logic right now! Oh! Sorry. Oh, no, you're good. I was trying to... Go... No, 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 no! What, what are you doing? I accidentally pressed the grate. I was trying to go up, scroll up, mm. but I pressed X. Mm. No, it's not. It's not. Okay. No, damn it. <laughs> Why? Okay. You tell me. No, I was. I needed to press Y to do that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Oh my god. Okay, so what evidence we got updated? Oh, Simon's device. Um, the weights. Oh, we didn't. Were the weights updated? We don't have weights for evidence. I can't remember. Mm. Um, I'm taking a look at the information we got. I mean, we're at the well. Um, hmm. Oh, wait, I, I saw it. I see the contradiction. Um. Oh. This is it. Is it the Simon's device set up for the big stunt show? Uses three pulleys, two ropes, and a well, and some weights. Mm -hmm. Because there's there's three pulleys. Not. I mean, it's supposed to be three pulleys, but there's only. Two. Well, there's also the mention that there's two ropes. Oh yeah, the ropes are gone. What? I mean, is Math it... is not working. No, it's okay. Okay. Um. Did did you did you? I guess deduce on the rope. I believe so. Deduce. Is this spot? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Simon's device. Yes. There we go. This recreation and the device we saw earlier, there's a major discrepancy. One of the ropes is missing. Oh, you're right. Without it, the device will, won't work. I wonder what happened to it. Where did the missing rope disappear to? It's possible that we hold a piece of evidence that shows where the rope went. Huh? Which piece of evidence shows where the missing rope went? It's the rope. That was used to tie up the victim, sorry. Where's the rope? Rope. Take that! <laughs> I mean, okay. This is funny. Which one is it? Duh. I don't know. It's right there, this is rope. <laughs> <laughs> the rope we found with, with a dead body. Ah! Could it be? Yes. It could be the other piece of rope that was used here. Then, does that mean... This rope was attached to the weight. However, the weight was not one of these metal was not one of these metal weights. These weights were hidden in the grass and replaced with something else. If they were 
place, then what was used as the weight? What was tied to the rope we found the rope through? If we can recall that, then the answer should be clear. The weight that was dropped in place of the weights that Mr. Keys had prepared was... <gasps> oh, it's way too early in the episode. Uh, let me just double check everything. What if it's actually the, the body? What if it was Mr. Knightley? I mean, that would be a good way to it, isn't it? Yeah. So, do I just present the crime scene notes? Because we don't really have the... I think... The... Yeah, I think the crime scene notes are probably the best thing to go with right now. Okay. Okay, alright. Take that! What... Did it. Oh. No, you're good. Good job. What dropped down the well was none other than Knightley's dead body. <gasps> Mr. Knightley's body was used as the weight? Yes. Very good. The weights were replaced with Knightley's body. Mr. So Keys used the device to launch himself off the stage. When the, <laughs> when, the rope, when the rope that was tied to him was undone and let go, both the body and the rope dropped down the well. The rope wasn't used to tie up Knightley. It was used to suspend him inside the well. That also explains why the other weights were hidden. Ah! So that no one would find out that the weights were replaced with the body! Yes, the killer was the one who, who hid the, those weights. But, Miles, wasn't Knightley Boy stabbed in the neck with a murder weapon? If he was suspended in the well, wouldn't there be a blood at the bottom of the well? The killer was also aware of that. That's why they used this item. Which item did the killer use in order to leave no traces of blood behind? Oh, the, um, the bloodstained sheet. So he probably wrapped him up and then dropped him. Yeah, or the only thing I can think of is maybe it was already below the well, either way. Oh. <gasps> oh my god. Sorry, brain's thinking. I think I know who did it. Oh! Uh, I know who did it. We'll see. Son of a... Okay. The sheet we found near the body. It was used to wrap up the body. I see! <laughs> right, can we... <laughs> Damn ass, goofy ass... Everything. <laughs> uh, it looks like all the pieces are starting to come together, eh? But... This means that the body definitely came from the well. If that's the case, wouldn't that mean Simon is the killer? No, that's not necessarily the, the case. Uh, but yesterday, Judge Courtney said- If Mr. Keys was the killer, would he have needed to set up such an elaborate device? No. I guess you have a point. Mr. Keys was only responsible for dropping the body during the show. In other words, it doesn't matter where the real killer was or what they were doing during the show. Until now, this place this place to doubt on the people who did not watch the animal show. It's true. We also suspected Mr. Dogan. The killer's true intent was to make us think the murder occurred during the show. In other words, they used the device on the well to create a fake alibi. Miss Barry, do you know when this device in the well was set up? Think. The day before the show, I think it was at night. We all started preparing at 9 p.m. We finished around midnight. The killer replaced the weights with the dead body afterwards. <gasps> oh my god, it's all coming together! Did Dogen know about the device? No. Even if he knew about the device, it wouldn't be possible for him to use it. You can't teach a dog to suspend a body in a well. I mean, he is a pretty special dog. Yeah, I just... But, whatever. I guess uh, I guess uh, he needs thumbs. Um, in other words, Dogen is not the killer. Uh, okay. Uh... <laughs> Um... Well, we did get a new piece of logic. Let's take a look at that really quick. 
Yeah, I just opened that and closed it. Oh. Weight switched with body in a crate of apples. So I have a feeling they probably took the apples out and and put the crate to put the body in the crate to move it, to transport it. Sounds like it's, uh, sounds like an idea. So can we connect those together? I'm doing it. Doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it, doing it. The cart was moved the night before the show. The body was also switched the night before the show. I don't think it was just a coincidence. Keeping that in mind, the question now becomes, why was the cart moved? The car used to be in front of that door. I can think of one reason why. Somebody opened that door! Alright, let's hurry up and... The door's locked. Let's ask a guard! Hey, Mr. Guard! Where'd you come from? B yes, what is it? That was fast. Hey, you there. Where's the key to this door? Oh, the warden's in charge of it. I'll get it from her right away. Mm. Sorry, I... Mm. Yeah, she's, she had a uh, gas. That, isn't that right, Danny? You had gas? Uh, yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, I kind of like four so. You have gas, right? <laughs> <laughs> The warden is in charge of the keys here? Without the warden's permission, this door can't be opened. Thank you very much! Oh. It's a circuit breaker panel. This must be the breaker room. On the night before the show, somebody came into this room. I wonder why they would come here. I don't think anyone would confuse the breaker room with the break room. It was definitely to operate the circuit breakers. Um, so someone came here to shut off the power to something. Was there anything that had its power shut off? What could have had its power shut off by the breaker? What could have, guys? What, what, what could have been shot? Had it, no, shut off by its breaker. What is it, guys? What what is it? Well, we'll find out in the next episode. Ah! 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 <laughs> so thank you guys so very much for watching. In the next episode, I guess we're gonna—I feel like we're gonna finish this case because I—I think I know who did it. And son of a duck! I. Ah! ah! Anyway. Uh, yes, I, so hopefully we'll finish in the next episode. So thank you so very much for watching, and if no one told you that they love you today, we do. Have a great day, everybody.